Hey everyone, I'm Robin VR, and welcome to another episode of VR Review, my weekly virtual news wrap-up. This program is made possible by generous contributions by viewers like you. Thank you! Both Oculus Rift and HTC Vive made announcements that will take away some of the price pain of getting a high-end VR system. Oculus has permanently dropped the price of the Oculus Rift from $599 to $499, Oculus Touch price from $199 to $99, and Oculus Sensor you need for $360 in room scale VR from $79 to $59. This puts the price of a fully featured Oculus Rift setup at $657, or $142 less than the price of an HTC Vive. Of course, you are still likely to need a new PC to run the headset. While VR ready PCs have come down in price, expect to be spending another $600 to $700 for a machine meeting minimum specs for total cost in the $1300 price range. Now if this feels like a lot to come up with all at once, HTC has a solution of financing over time rather than a price drop. Financing options of the Vive in the US are available at different price points depending upon the financing terms. 0% financing for 6 months for $138 per month, 12 months for $67 per month, or 7.99% financing for 24 months for $40 a month, tax and shipping not included. To be clear, the overall price of the HTC Vive has not changed from $799, and HTC indicated it will not be changing its price in response to the Oculus price drop. HTC has also announced that its Viveport subscription service will be starting in a couple of weeks. For $699 a month, subscribers will be able to try out five virtual reality apps without requiring full purchase. The first month of the program was free of current and new owners of the HTC Vive. Not only is this a great program for Vive owners, it's a great option for developers of the HTC Vive experiences and games. Developers can get an opportunity to stand out for the crowd of 1,300 apps available from the Vive by making their titles available through the new service. Vive takes 40% cut of the fee, leaving only about 84 cents for each developer, but it's still way more than many independents may get, and a good way for larger developers to get more exposure. Microsoft rebranded its Windows holographic ecosystem to Windows Mixed Reality clearing any confusion of what type of experiences these new headsets will give. Acer's Developer Edition headset is first out of the gate, shipping in the next few weeks with Dell, HP, Lenovo, and Asus to follow. Expect to start seeing consumer models priced from $299, shipping by the holiday season. The headsets will feature HoloLens-type inside-out head tracking with camera pass-through style mixed reality. Microsoft is targeting Windows 10 first, but confirmed that it's going to bring mixed reality to the Xbox One next, and later Project Scorpio, the next Xbox console set to launch at the end of 2017. If you like this video and feel it's helped you keep up with these technologies, please consider supporting what I do with any of these options. If you can't afford to make a financial contribution, please subscribe and share the video with your friends on social media. It really helps. Thank you.